Hey everyone, welcome to W2 Productions and this time we are going to be making an ending soon animation which will be a stream ending soon animation for your uh, Twitch overlays or uh, YouTube gaming overlays. So stay tuned till the very end, end of this video and let's get straight to it. So I'm going to jump right into After Effects and first of all I'm just going to go ahead and create a new composition over here. This will be a 1920 by 1080 pixel uh, composition and we are going to set the time as 7 seconds. I think this will be enough. So you can hit OK. Then what you need to do is first of all add a new solid and to add a gradient on this solid. Doesn't matter which color. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the layer and select layer styles gradient overlay. For this gradient overlay I'm just going to go ahead and edit this gradient from over here. I'm going to choose the colors that are orange right about in the orange field I'm just going to flip these colors over here and for this I think black is good enough and for this I'm just going to go ahead and make this a darker color because I need I want the particles to be visible uh, that's why I'm making this a darker color so I'm just going to go ahead and select a new layer right now and we are going to now add our particles. So after making a new solid, you can select OK. And I'm going to just go ahead and add the CC particle systems effect from over here. So we will drag and drop this effect from over here and on our top layer. So uh, once you move forward, then you will see a little bit of these particles. So I'm just going to Go ahead and change a few settings over here. For this uh, birth rate, I'm just going to select 5. You may select more if you like uh, because we're going to be making some, uh, uh, you know, like sparks, spark animations or fire anim particles animations over here. So for this animation, I'm just going to go ahead and select direction. Radius would be 100 for both of them. And for this particle type, we are going to select a faded sphere. And for the particle colors, let's just go with orange color for a little bit of orange color. For the death size and for the birth size, the yellow color over here. And uh, let's change the settings a bit. The birth size would be 0.1. The death size would be 0.1 as well. And then we'll go ahead and change the gravity value to 0, the velocity value to 0.4 and for the settings that we are going to change are uh, just go ahead and drop these particles over here. Okay so now once you have all of these uh, settings uh, similar then you need to click this uh, particle systems effect over here and you can see that you, you can drag and drop this wherever you like. So if you want the uh, particles to start from over here, then you would just place it over here. Uh, but for this, I think uh, that uh, just placing it over here would look much better. Uh, a little bit of this uh, fire coming from this side. So if you're liking the vid this video so far, then please be sure to hit that like button as it really helps. And moving on now, we will just go ahead and select this new text layer and add our text over here. So for this uh, text, we are just going to write a stream ending soon or ending soon. Whatever you think looks good. Ending soon. And I'm just going to change this text to Jersey Sharp. Because I think this uh, text looks good at this uh, effect or uh, for this theme and after selecting the text then you can just go ahead and adjust the size of this uh, text and you can go ahead and center line this as well be sure to uh, not hit the caps lock button once you are aligning because uh, this is going to give you an error so now uh, i'm just going to add a gradient to match the theme for this so for this layer styles i'm just going to go ahead and select gradient overlay and in this gradient overlay, I'm going to go ahead and edit gradient. I'm going to just uh, roughly give this a nice yellow and uh, orange type of theme. 
so this one looks really nice uh, for this theme and now if you play your animation then uh, you see that uh, the particles are uh, animating like this uh, the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and add our uh, effect on the text which will be pike tumble effect from over here pike tumble so you can see this effect over here 3d pike tumble and add this effect over here on the words So it's a really cool effect uh, and uh, in order to appear your uh, words select you on your keyboard and you can adjust the a few settings over here i'm just going to go ahead and select third for this right now just to save some rendering time so this is our offset and uh, we can adjust the time by moving this inwards or outwards so by selecting both of these and selecting Alt on our keyboard, we can even decrease the time. Now just go ahead and press Shift and press T on your keyboard to uh, open the opacity and press Shift and open S on your keyboard, Shift and S on your keyboard to select the scale. So for the scale, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here. And for the scale, let's just keep it 100 over here and after a little while let's say after around four sec five seconds we're going to change this to 105 just to make the text a little bit a little bit dynamic so that it's not just plain text um, over here and it's actually growing as you can see in uh, size so this one is fine and uh, you know once you upload these animations uh, on your twitch or youtube uh, then you will need to uh, just go ahead and loop the animation so uh, once this animation goes over here you can see that the text will uh, just vanish so what you can do is uh, you can and it's going to give a it's going to give an abrupt stop or a start so in order to avoid that we're just going to go ahead and uh, change this opacity uh, keep this opacity as 100 at the very end let's say six seconds and then go ahead and select zero for this opacity and this is this is going to just vanish and we are going to do the same with our particles so control c for this opacity open the particles press t on your keyboard to open opacity and i'm just going to go to this opacity keyframe and select control v uh, so this is this is going to end our animation just like this so it's a fun way uh, to animate your ending soon screen so be sure to use whatever colors that you like especially the colors that uh, are matching your logo so you can have your logo over here so i'm going to start another uh, series uh, which will be of reviewing your channel so if you want me to review your, review your channel for graphic design or the overall layout or twitch or anything then you can just uh, comment your channel below and i'll take a look at it and feature the channel in the next video so guys thanks so much for watching this was a simple stream ending soon animation and i also have videos on uh, starting soon and other twitch graphics so you may also check them out and uh, comment your thoughts on how you like this animation or if you've ever made any animation stream ending soon or starting soon animation thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video